Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be learning about logical operators provided by the R programming language. So, the logical operators basically compare the two values and they return true when either or both these value is non-zero and they return false when either or both these values are equal to zero. Now, depending upon the type of logical operator that we are using, the result can either be an element wise output or it will be a single output. So, all these will become clear when we proceed in the video. So, let's get started with the logical operators. So, to understand the concept of logical operators we are utilizing two vectors named x and y x consists of a sequence of four values 5 6 true and a complex number 1 plus 2 iota and y vector consists of another set of four values which is 6 1 false and the fourth value is again a complex number 1 plus 2 iota so now let's get started with the first operator the logical operator which is element wise logical and so this operator as the name suggests basically compares the two elements provided to it and it gives you an element wise result now what will be the result and how it will be calculated depends on the values if both the values that are being compared using this operator are non-zero then the output would be true otherwise if any of these values is zero or both these values are zero then the output would be false so when we perform element wise logical and on x and y and we print the result we would get four outputs because four comparisons would be done one for each corresponding element and when both or either one of these elements would be resulting in zero value then the output would be false so let's execute both these statements and see what is the output so let's get started with the first statement then we execute the second statement now when we execute the first statement of print x and y we get the output as true true false and true this is because 5 and 6 both are non-zero values that is why the output is true similarly 6 and 1 neither of them is zero so the output is true again in the third case we are comparing two logical values true and false since false has the numeric equivalent of zero that means when you uh, when you equate false with a numeric value that false is equal to zero that is why since one of the two values is zero in this case so the logical and has resulted in the output of false in the last case both these values are again non-zero so the output is true now coming to the second logical operator which is element wise logical or so this operator returns true when at least one of the two values is non-zero so when both the values are non-zero or any one of them is non-zero then in that case the output is the value true okay in the previous case the both the values should have been corresponding to a non-zero value only then the output was true now in this case we have the flexibility that even when one of the values is non-zero then the output would be a true value so here you can see in the first two cases since both these val elements 5 and 6 and 6 and 1 are non-zero and when they are compared element wise the output would be true but in the third case here since one of the values is non-zero true corresponds to a non-zero numeric values that is why the logical or operator has returned the output as true and in the last case also both these values are non-zero so the output is true again now coming to the third logical operator which is the negation operator so this operator is not a binary operator that we that means it will only take one value 
and give the opposite or the negation of that value. So if the value in x is a non-zero value, then the output would be negated. That means the output would be a zero or false. But if the value in x is already a zero, then the output would be true. Okay, so let's execute this statement. And as you can see, when we executed or when we perform negation of x, since all the elements in x are non-zero, so the negation resulted in all the values being false. Now, coming to the fourth logical operator, which is the logical AND. Now, the difference between this simple logical AND and the element-wise logical AND operator is that in this scenario, only one output will be obtained. Multiple outputs will not be obtained. And this is because this particular logical AND operator only compares the first elements present in both these vectors okay so only 5 and 6 will be compared since both these values are non-zero so the logical and will return true as you can see here the output is true now coming to the next case which is the simple logical or here also only one value will be returned which would be result of comparing the first two first elements of the two vectors okay so 5 and 6 will be compared again these are the first elements of both the vectors and the output would be again true in this case because here also both the values are non-zero so i hope you have understood the logical operators provided in the r programming language thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam